Hi, I'm Matt Smith. Welcome to Retromoto, the show about classic bikes and the people who love to ride them. We're headed out to a beautiful country estate to see a couple of vintage bike racers test and shake down their incredible Nortons before the next event. These are the late series Manx. Uh, they're a 500cc double overhead cam design with the feather bed frame. By the t end of its run, by when these were made, the Italians had already taken over with multi-cylinder bikes and these were sort of uh, holdovers or leftovers, but they, they were still raced and uh, with a lot of success. Wow, nice. So are we gonna fire these things up? We're gonna fire them up and do a little testing. Sounds good. You ready to go? Ready, ready, Let's do it. Ready. Let's do it. We're getting a chance to witness something so few people ever get to see anymore. Two Manx Nortons, not in a museum, not on a track, just tearing up a country road. With every episode, you can count on me to take you to the heart of the classic bike scene, in every sense of the word. Around the world or down the street, we'll meet the people who live and breathe the art of the motorcycle. People as diverse as the world itself, and that's where we'll find them, from Indiana to India. I'll bring viewers unprecedented all-access coverage, digging deeper with intelligent content that sets this show apart from your typical car or bike program. I'll introduce you to everyone from celebrities and artists to the unknown enthusiasts, people who race, restore, but most of all ride classic motorcycles. I know what you want to see, because I want to see it too. This show's team knows its stuff. Here's our lead European correspondent, Dave Halewood, talking to legendary trackside tuner Nobby Clark about one of the biggest upsets in racing history. Mike the Bike Halewood's 1978 victory on the Isle of Man. Hi, I'm Dave Halewood. I'm joined today by three fabulous guests, guru mechanic Nobby Clark. Hi, Nobby. How are you doing, David? How are I'm you? very well, thank you. Good. And two beautiful ladies here, our Tamburini Ducati 900SS and our Pierre Ter Blanche 900 Evolution machine. Dave and the rest of the Retro Motor team are bringing not just unparalleled access, but extensive insight. More than just history lessons, we'll present rarely seen footage, conversations with the people who live the great moments in motorcycling, and of course, the great motorcycles themselves. We're in New York City today to check out a classic bike block party in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. I gotta tell you, I'm really excited for this one. It brings out such an array of people, classic bikes, tricked out bobbers, you name it, it's here. So come on, follow me. We're gonna go get right in the mix of things. Show. I just ran into Leon from Cycle Icons and his Royal Enfield Badger. Some of you may have seen this on the internet, it's been getting a little bit of buzz. What can you tell me about this? I've always kind of described this as obviously part uh, motorcycle build, custom build. It's not just a street bike, but we ride it to the races. Royal Enfields aren't necessarily known for being necessarily fast bikes that you would even want to race or <laughs> go fast on. <laughs> What's going which on is with part, which is part of the lunacy of the idea, right? Yeah. Who would do this with an Enfield? Sure. Uh, a big part of the project uh, were two guys uh, from Ace Engineering, uh, the Ace Fireball, and they developed uh, this motor that is a little more than double horsepower from stock, but not only making some good power, it's durable and it holds together. <laughs> Park this on the Retro Motos produce for motorcycle lovers by motorcycle lovers. All the principals are involved with bikes. John Lawless, the show's creator, has a large and varied collection and races several of them. His worldwide connections in motorcycling are unmatched. Behind the camera, Ed Buffman has been a director and DP for over 30 years. A former dirt racer, he brings both knowledge of the lens and the bike to the production. While after 10 years with NBC, Shell Brown spent over 20 years with NFL Films as both director and editor. He too collects classic bikes. Finally, I'm your host, Matt Smith. 
I grew up trackside and spent my whole life chasing, collecting, and restoring vintage treasures. I love motorcycles as much as the diehard enthusiasts, who I know are going to love this show. We'll see you next time.